playmaker, Emily here, otherwise known as That Mom with a Laser. And it's on this channel where I attempt to simplify operating a laser while filling the maker heart and fueling the entrepreneurial spirit. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I engrave tumblers on my new Pyburn 3.0. If you wanna learn more about the Pyburn, then be sure to visit my website at www.thatmomwithalaser.co and search for the Pyburn button. So are you ready? Let's go. All right, so before I do anything, I like to set up the rotary first. So I'm going to lift my lid, lower my access door, and then I'm going to lower my laser bed as much as I can. Then I am going to carefully remove my honeycomb tray. Now you're gonna notice that I have my blades already removed here. You only need to do that if you are engraving a 30 ounce tumbler or larger. Typically for smaller cups, you can actually put your pie burn right on top of your blades and you'll be good to go. When I'm engraving without the blades, I like to use this little lip here to help me make sure that I have everything perfectly straightened. Then I'm going to grab my cup and I am going to size it and adjust it so that everything is nice and level and aligned. This is one of the areas where the pie burn really shines because it's just so much easier to use than other rotaries. So I'm gonna use this knob function here and I'm gonna use the little leveler that they sent me when I got this and I'm going to make sure that my cup is perfectly level. Now that it's level, I'm gonna go ahead and secure the back end stopper. And this basically, you know, makes sure that the back end of my cup is nice and secure. And then I will go ahead and also tighten this other knob that accounts for the length of my cup and it's gonna keep everything in place. Now all that's left to do is go ahead and put my cup in focus. I like to do this before I plug in the rotary because once you plug it in, you will no longer have access to move your gantry up and down on the Y axis. It's only gonna move left and right on the X axis. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that my cup is level. I'm gonna do a two millimeter defocus, which is something that I do often when I'm engraving. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you visit this video here. I'm really looking to make sure that I have my red dot pointer falling dead center along the cup. And I'm also gonna adjust the cup so that when I engrave my image, the name that I'm gonna engrave on this is going to be centered with the part that says Yeti at the bottom of this cup. Now all that's left to do is to plug in my rotary. So I'm going to take the pin and plug it into the rotary port that you see right here. Then I will close the lid, lock up my access door, and hop over to Lightburn to set up my artwork and adjust my machine settings and my rotary settings. I'm gonna go ahead and type out the name that I'm going to engrave on this cup. And I like to use either a bendy ruler or even um, like a sewing measuring tape to measure how much space I have to play with on my cup. So with this cup, I only have about four inches. So I am actually going to squeeze this name closer together so that I can stretch it down and make it a little taller. Otherwise, I don't think it'll look that good on the cup. So here I am just kind of manipulating it. Once I have it the way that I want it, I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees and I do not have to mirror it because this is another nice thing about the pie burn. The motor is on the outside of the rotary, so I don't have to mirror my image. And um, if you had, an, if you're coming from another rotary, then you know what I'm talking about. Then of course, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have selected the appropriate settings for the tumbler that you're working with. And I am going to select a center origin so that when I frame it on my tumbler, um, it will frame it out from the center of the artwork. Now we need to set up the machine settings. And I will note um, the machine settings that you use are gonna be specific to the machine that you operate. What you see me change out here um, are specifically machine settings for an Eon Mira. And you wanna take note of the settings before you change anything because you're gonna have to go back to these once you're done working with your rotary. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change my idle speed from 300 to 20. My idle acceleration from 2000 to 100. Then I'm gonna change my min acceleration from 400 to 20 and my max acceleration from 2000 to 100. And again, this is specific to an Eon Mira. So I'm gonna click OK, approve the changes, and then I'm gonna go into tools and toggle down to where it says rotary so I can change the rotary settings. And in here, I'm gonna make sure that I have the roller selected. Then I'm gonna to toggle where it says enable rotary. And then I wanna make sure that I have the correct steps per rotation and roller diameter. 
You can get the details for specific machines directly on the Pyburn website under the manual. If you have an Eon Mira 7, then the settings are what you see right here. Now that that's done, I can send the job over to my laser and get to engraving. Once I've sent the job over to the machine, the last thing I'm gonna do is frame my job to make sure that it is falling right where I want it to fall in the cup. So here I am framing it. That looks pretty centered. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and engrave my image. I also want to go ahead and show you how to use your front end stopper so that you can go ahead and engrave things like mugs or even wine tumblers. It's just good to know how to use all these little pieces so that you can manipulate and adjust things to fit your cup perfectly. Now if I were to engrave this tumbler as it is, you see how this handle is going to hit my wheel. I'm not going to be able to engrave it. So that's where I need to adjust this that's called the front end stopper. So I'm going to loosen this knob and move the stopper forward so this way I can push my tumbler back so that there's enough clearance for the handle to rotate all the way around and not hit the wheels. Once I feel confident that my handle isn't going to collide with anything, I will go ahead and secure the cup the same way I did with the other tumblers. So I will tighten up the back end stopper, I will also tighten up the knob for the carriage, I will level it off, then I have to also make sure that I refocus because now I'm switching to a different tumbler and then get to work. Well, Maker, I hope that was helpful. If you liked what you saw today, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button so you get notifications every time I have a new video. And I look forward to seeing you guys here soon over at That Mom with a laser.